A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. These are the rewards for April, and I have them all cut up now. The print, the two stickers, and the extra collectible sticker for fourth and fifth tier patrons. I am super happy with how everything turned out. They are my favorite thus far. There is no deadline for signing up, just if you sign up after the 10th, your stuff won't be mailed out until the last day of the month, but if you are interested in these, you can go ahead and sign up if you want to. But yeah, very happy with how the prints turned out, especially. Hello, so here I am starting to prep and pack all of the Patreon mailed rewards. And I get a lot of questions about these and how I send them out. And if you sign up after a certain day, do you still get them, etc. So I wanted to answer those questions. I always do the first deadline on the 10th of every month. So if you sign up by the 10th of a month, so 10th of April, 10th of May, whatever, you will be part of the first wave of rewards. It takes me about two to three days to mail those out, so you'll get them within that same month. And anyone who signs up after the 10th of the month, I will send out your rewards at the last day of the month or like the first day of the next month because you don't have to wait and make sure that everyone who wants to sign up on the last day gets the rewards. But yeah, so you'll still get the rewards, but you just won't get them until the next month. I have prepped the first set of envelopes with the return address label and the stamp and now we can start packing it up. So I am not done with work, but I had to stop because it's 7 p.m. and I need to start my geology research paper, which is due in three days, but I'll be fine. I'm spacing it out throughout the three days. And I originally had two research papers due this week, but the second one got moved, got two extra weeks. Thank you so much to my American Minorities professor, thank you. But my geology one is still due on Wednesday, so. I stopped work to start on it. I really do not want to do it. I really, really, really want to play Animal Crossing, but I cannot and I probably will not until tomorrow night or Wednesday night when I am done with the research paper. So let's do it. It is the next day and as you saw I did have a therapist appointment today basically discussing my instability with mental health if you don't know I have panic disorder anxiety disorder etc you know you know the drill <laughs> um, yeah so basically my mental health has been pretty unstable as far as like work goes so I was just telling her my struggles and she basically assigned me to set out self-care and rest every single day because that's definitely not something that I do every single day 
even when I'm resting, I'm sitting in bed and working on my iPad. So she told me that I need to force scheduled rest every day, whether that's watching a show, playing video games, hanging out with someone, whatever, that I need to do that every day and that will now stabilize my mood and will actually cause me to be more productive in the long run because I won't have meltdowns that will cause me to be in bed rest for days. I did work the entire day until I had my therapist appointment. I did not film it because it's the it was the exact same thing as yesterday because packing took me forever. Because look at all the patron mail alone. On top of that, I had to pack orders for the store. But wow, thank you patrons. You guys are insane. Thank you so much for your response on this month's rewards. I love you. Thank you for loving my art. But yeah, I have finally finished these up. I had to actually come up with a whole new system on how to pack them because I had so many patrons join this month. But yeah, finally finished packing and for the rest of the day, it's just gonna be chill. I'm gonna go get either like dessert or boba or something today because I haven't done that in a while. I'm gonna take myself out and then draw, just draw because I really have not had time to just draw. So I'm gonna do that. So I had bought myself these yellow tulips, which are already dying, but they're very pretty. And then my boyfriend bought me purple tulips the next day. Um, so now I have two tulip vases, but I'm not complaining. I love tulips. Friends, wait, I know what would complete this. I just realized that. Hello friends. 
today, April 19th, it's been probably almost a week now because I started filming the video for the clay pins that I'm making for my shop update. And by the time this video is up, the clay pin video, you guys will have already seen it. Right now I have them um, just finishing up on the little windsill. They're so cute, I love them. But yeah, I was working on filming that video so I really wasn't uh, doing much else as far as filming. Camera was occupied doing that. I did get a new tattoo yesterday. It is La Danse by Henri Matisse, which is super cool. I know a few people have this, but it's like a piece of fine art so I didn't mind and I love Vami Ruti's so and that's also why I'm wearing a tank top I n hardly ever wear tank tops and I especially don't wear them on camera but because of the area fabric tends to rub on it a lot and like irritate it so I just wanted to wear something today that wouldn't be rubbing on it but yeah so I am pretty much wrapping up that clay pin video and I did do some drawing like in between when I had to wait for like paint to dry or the resin to cure. So I did this little milky candy, uh, what's it called? Milky, milky candy packaging um, and I think it's so cute, I love it. And I also did my submission for this month's sketchbook prompt for my patrons. Yeah, we have a lot of fun on there, but uh, yeah, so I did do some drawing and I think right now I'm gonna take a break and I might go get like boba or something because I wanted to do that last week, but so, ow, I forgot about my tattoo. So I might go do that. Uh, but I am going to take a break because I've been working all day on the clay pins and all that, so... So I'm officially on a break now after finally finishing all filming for the video and then I'm gonna edit that tonight and tomorrow morning. I didn't get to pack today but I don't have that many orders, it's okay. They will be quick to do tomorrow but it's Pietro's birthday today on my island um, and I have not bought him a gift but he is my favorite. So I need to find something to give him and he's smug so he's gonna give me attitude if I give him something ugly. Okay, so I'm giving Pietro this dotted raincoat. So I wrapped it up and I'm gonna go give it to him. Also, my island looks like this because I am currently remodeling. So yeah. But let's hope that he likes it because he's, he's smug.
He said he liked it, but his face didn't seem like he did, but I got him a gift. Hi friends, so today has been a long day and I haven't filmed so far because it was very tedious, boring work but I went to get food because I needed a break and I went to Daiso to get something I needed and of course I left with more because who doesn't do that when they go to Daiso? So firstly, let's get my favorite thing out of the way. Are you kidding me? This stingray pillow? It looks like boobs but it's okay, it's so cute. There were so many too, I was like, oh my god, people aren't buying these up. I love her, I love her so much. Next, I bought a cork board, which I'm actually gonna set up like right after this clip because I bought it so that I can stab pins in here and have them on display. I bought these two packs of construction paper because these are actually the papers that I use sometimes for product photos and stuff except the other ones got really old and wrinkled and the other ones were also small and these are a nice big size so got some of those and then I am once again reunited with the Daiso dinosaur so I had a big one and I ended up donating it because I didn't have space for it and I was making space for Squishmallows but I found the smaller size and I love this dinosaur with everything in me like it's perfect so yeah bought the yellow one he's my best friend now next i bought this headband for when you wash your face because i have one but uh it's time to wash it and i will not wash my face if i don't have something holding my hair back because i hate having to deal with my bangs when i'm washing my face so i bought an extra one so i can rotate them out while one of them is in the wash and this is just a little bunny one so cute i bought this rice paddle with a little kitty on it for my apartment i bought this vegetable slicer which is like you just slide the vegetable right here and it slices them and it catches it all in this box how handy i bought these things which i saw on tiktok but they're like little heel protectors for when you wear uh, like for example Doc Martens when you're breaking them in it takes a really long time to break them in and they can be very painful on your heels so this silicone cover will just protect them and you won't be blistered so got some of those this purchase was definitely very unintelligent but I couldn't resist they are Sumiko Garashi uh, disinfectant wipes capitalism has one capitalism has grabbed me by the neck and made me purchase these. <laughs> Lastly, I got some kitchen items because I am a hoe for ceramics. So firstly, we have this spoon slash chopstick rest in the shape of a kitty. So wonderful, so amazing. Then we have this speckled sauce dish, you know, pretty handy. Then we have this rice bowl, which is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And I bought two of these bowls you can't see it i will show you but they are speckled which is so cute i love speckled uh ceramics so bought two of them and you know daiso is cheap but i feel like the quality on stuff like this is so good oh and i forgot i bought this uh reusable shopping bag there too because it's so pretty and wow so that's my daiso haul I'm trying to practice to look at the camera when I'm speaking or at least look somewhere in the vicinity of the camera instead of looking away. It's when I look away, it's just how- see, I just did it. It's just how I speak. Like, I don't know. It's how I concentrate. It's how I, uh, it's how I move my thought process, but I'm trying not to do it, I'm trying to focus and seem attentive instead of looking off into the distance, even though I am trying to concentrate, but I'm trying to maintain eye contact with you guys. The rest of the day is gonna be work, of course. Gonna get some prints printed, gonna order t-shirts, gonna do admin work.
It is April 23rd today, so it's Friday. And today or tomorrow will probably be the last days of this vlog, but today is pretty much my last work day of the week. So I thought I would be able to print prints the other day, the last time I updated you guys, but I found out that I was missing yellow ink. I had no more yellow printer ink anymore, so I was not able to do that, but I will be able to start today at least because I got some yellow ink. So I'll be doing that. I packed a few orders just now, and I'm going to try to get ahead on some of the patron mailed rewards. I already drew one sticker I can show you guys. It's a little springtime Tamagotchi. Uh, I've been very inspired by Tamagotchis this these last few weeks because you guys saw I got this Tamagotchi and I have a confession yesterday. I got another one. I got this purple Wonder Garden one. I was like, I can handle two. I can handle taking care of two. Is it difficult? Yes, but I'm happy I have these and I've been really addicted to playing So they've been inspiring me a lot. I'm also wearing a big top because we're doing big things today But I did get makeup on it That's fun. So I have finished the first sticker I that means I need to draw two more stickers and then the print for May since it's the last month of spring And I haven't really gotten to do like a truly spring theme for patreon I think that's what the theme is going to be for May. I'm not sure exactly what the other two stickers are going to be. I think one of them is going to be like a little motivational quote with some flowers because I've been wanting to do that for a long time and I think maybe the print will be like a picnic scene or something because I feel like that's the epitome of spring. But yeah, going to be working on that. Yeah, those are the main objectives for today. So I decided to put my little cork board right here. Uh, I feel like it looks better right there. I was going to put it, hang and one of my posters fell because they always fall, but I thought about like putting it there in front of, but I only have glue dots. I actually put it there, but it fell within an hour of course. So I put it here and I feel like it looks nice and actually better than how it would have looked over there. But. Also, yes, I did change. I felt like being more comfortable, getting sick of wearing a blouse because that happens when you're at home. And I just wanted to let Yuki say hello because I don't think you guys have seen her in this vlog. Mm. Yuki. Mm. She doesn't like being held. Okay, I'm sorry. Mm. Okay, okay.
you guys saw me getting ready. It's Saturday, which means it's boyfriend day, as you guys know. I'll show you guys my outfit once I am fully put together and dressed, but I wanted to show you guys that I made some pixel art for the first time ever. I did this little ramen bowl. I didn't use reference or anything, so it's not that good. And it was just like a quick thing I wanted to do to try it out because I've never made pixel art before. But it was really fun. I found a free pixel art brush set. Google, I think the website is called Bardot Brush. I'll have it, make sure to comment it if I don't forget and I'll have it on the screen. But yeah, it was a free download and I kind of wanted to learn how to do pixel art and this was my first attempt. So I'll be practicing that because it was really fun and I like exploring new digital drawing techniques. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my, my little pixel art bowl. So you have reached the end of this vlog and i'm just doing schoolwork here because that's what i usually do on sundays but i just wanted to come on here and give you guys a little bit of an outro and tell you what is going on so i am moving out of my house my family home june 2nd into an apartment so now that we are in may uh, it's really go time when it comes to preparing for that and I also have not been doing well mentally for probably a month and a half or so now and usually when I am feeling insecure about my art where I'm having imposter syndrome it passes after a week or two but this time it's really stayed and I think this time around it really has to do a lot with burnout because I am starting to avoid doing tasks that I need to do and I'm starting to get anxiety from drawing and just a lot of stuff like that. You know, social media is starting to get me either really depressed or very anxious. So I've decided to take a break. I'm not going to be doing anything art related for this week. So this next coming week, I will not have a video to post. Hopefully, I'll be back the week after that. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a lot going on and mentally, I'm not all there to handle everything all at once. And also, therefore, the shop update won't be until after I get to my apartment. All of this is extremely, extremely terrifying for me. I'm not good at taking breaks at all. I'm not good at letting myself rest, so I'm extremely terrified that everyone will somehow forget about me or all of this will be gone and then I'll be like evicted from my apartment or something because I can't pay. But you know, that hopefully that won't happen and uh, I'll be okay, but I just need to rest this week in order to not have a severe burnout later on. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. It helps me out. Thank you to my patrons because because of you guys, I'm able to take this break. And as always, thank you for all of your support and I love you and have a good few weeks. So before I close out today's vlog, I really quickly want to talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. I love Squarespace so much. They treat me so well. And if you don't know what it is, it's an all-in-one platform where you can create your own website. It is the platform that I have always used to run my website, my store. They have a lot of really great tools for beginners and even more advanced techie people. They have really great design tools that are super customizable for you even if you're a beginner. And like I said, even if you're more advanced, there is room for you to code and such. They have really great website analytics so you can see how your website is doing. And there's also really specific tools on there like e-commerce that I have on my store and they have scheduling on there as well. So if you would like to start your free trial for Squarespace, you can go to squarespace.com and you can use my code when you're ready to make your first purchase for 10% off.